I got some updates for you on the 2025 Ram 1500 RHO I just ordered. I figured I'm getting some updates. Let me share them with you guys because I think it's fun going through the process with you and ordering trucks and getting the information back. I think it shares a lot of information for you guys if you're out there doing the same thing I am. Yeah, maybe you are. And according to the comments, you are. <laughs> so I ordered this Ram RHO. Uh, it's really cool. It's right here. Um, I really like what they've done with this. It's basically a TRX, what was the prior generation of this badass looking truck with the 6.2 liter supercharged engine. But in this case, we're doing the three liter inline six high output engine. And I have driven this in the Ram 1500 already in the tungsten. Starting price is 69995 That's ridiculously low price in today's market, in today's world of high performance trucks. I'm just very much caveat that because I'm going to get some heat over that comment. But look at this thing. I mean, I, I think it's pretty damn cool. Off-road tire, 35-inch tires are ready. You have the performance exhaust. I can't wait to hear what the exhaust sounds like because typically with a small displacement engine, you give up the performance, you give up the exhaust note because they don't have enough displacement to get the exhaust note to work the way it sounds like a big growl like the TRX did. So I'd be curious to see what it sounds like. I haven't, haven't driven that yet. Um, I want to get to the interior because, yeah, this interior <laughs> is pretty damn cool. And it's got the bigger screen, which I, I'm kind of mixed on these screens. I, I was, we talked last night live stream, Jill and I, about whether you need these big screens or don't. I've, I have a, a Range Rover or no, a Land Rover Defender outside right now. And it's got a smaller screen. I took the Dodge Hornet to Cheyenne yesterday, smaller screen. You don't need it, but it, it, it is nice having the icons bigger and things you can see. And the Dodge Hornet with the Apple CarPlay going, I couldn't read the time it was. And I know my eyes are getting older. I get it. But I like the bigger I, the bigger clock there. I know I got to use my watch. I have a watch on too. But still, I was like, yeah, whatever. I, I like this interior. I've always liked Ram trucks, so I'm really excited about this one. So I'm working with this dealership, and uh, they are pretty slick here. I'm gonna. It sounds like I'm advertising for them. They're not paying me to do this. I just think they have a really good system here. So and you guys have responded in the comments saying I bought my truck from them or I'm calling them tomorrow. I had a guy from Florida who has a uh, wedding photography business. He said he put his order in for those guys. Um, I talked to the sales manager yesterday. He said they had tons of orders coming in. So, yeah, hit these guys up because they're getting massive discounts. I'm getting, I think it's $10,000 off my truck. That's huge. That's a, that, that, that's a big deal to me. Um, so I'm pretty happy with those guys. Uh, check them out. Um, I, listen, we had a phone call yesterday. And what, what, what was in the phone call? You're probably like, Tim, it's been two minutes and 30 seconds. Give us some details. So details are this. The Ram RHO ordering process was closed down. You couldn't order it. Uh, Ram PR called me. A public relations team called me. We were talking on the phone about it. I talked to the sales manager at the, the dealership, the Mark Dodge dealership. The same issue. They said that the issue was a computer glitch. I think that response or that answer is what comes out of the south end of north facing bull. So I don't buy it at all. And, but I was talking to him and all of a sudden he says, yeah, we get this notification. We can't get ordered. It's a glitch. And then boom, orders open. So he's been like burning up the phone lines. Uh, they, they've been calling all the customers trying to get these orders in before it closes again. I tend to believe Ram has some supplier issues as most brands do these days. They're trying to figure out how many they can support the build, how many they can promise to build. to not make customers frustrated waiting six, 12, 18 months for a truck. Now I think my truck will come in. October, November ish. That's what I'm kind of hoping for. I got to have it by year end. If I'm going to make some phone calls, if I can't get it by year end, I'm going to be mad, Tim, unhappy, Tim. So got to have it by year end. I think I'll get it by year end. But uh, yeah, that's kind of the time frame for that. Now, there also was a question that came up in the comments. You guys kind of pointed things out. And I'm going to do one thing real, real fast before I get to that, that comment. Um, it was about the onboard power system. And I wrote a story on this on pickuptrucktalk.com. And basically what I said was the onboard power system was delayed. You guys, the viewers, provide me information on this. And the quote was, unavailable at this time, removed from the other trims as well. The onboard power system, which is XBH, which is their ordering code for this, is not ready to launch. The revised introduction timing for XBH is being reviewed. Please contact your sales manager. So if you don't know what this is, most trucks come with a plug in the back. It's a 110 plug in the back. The problem with the 110 plug in the back, back is it's not very powerful. It's 115 volt, 400 watt plug in many trims. If you remember, I did a video a couple of years ago um, and I'll, let me pull that video up real fast. So here's that video. Let me go ahead and mute this video, but I wanna show you the details here. So the Tundra was gonna have a 115 watt, 400 watt plug. And the same plug as the Tacoma has. So Tacoma is 120, so I had a Tacoma outside. And I'm showing in this video, I'm like showing you how to turn the plug on, that kind of stuff. 
And I'm talking about what contractors need and what I want as a homeowner. I get this fence over here. It always has a problem, but the wind blows it down. I'm kind of deal. So I need to fix my fence. We went camping with this and uh, with the power on board in the F-150 hybrid I had. And the campground lost power. And so we were able, hey, we'll use plug the truck in and run power at the at the, uh, at the campground. It's great. Uh, you can go camping, tent camping, whatever you want to do, run the power off the truck. And the truck just idles. It kicks on and kicks off when the power you need it. And it's, it's really a sweet system. So in this case, I had this plugged in to the house and the house. I cut the two by four. However, when I go ahead and plug this in the Tacoma, as you can see on your screen, uh, it's a slightly different story. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's uh, this is. I, I actually had Andre from TFL Truck talk to me about this because he was so uh, he was happy to see this video. He was pretty impressed by it. So let's let's see this video here. It's in the truck, and uh, yeah, I can't cut a two by four. So I mean, that is my my big issue, and that's what I want. I wanted something. I want my truck to be more of a tool. And I love onboard power. So onboard power is unavailable. And like when I was talking about ordering and talking to those guys about what to do, and it looked like it was unavailable. And then I'm like, well, I really want onboard power. Like, why can't I get it? And then talking to the sales manager yesterday, I think his name is Aaron. Um, he said, well, wait a minute. Let's add it to your order. Yeah, it is now available for $9.95. It is, was available to put in the order. Now, it makes it a little cautious, right? So we know it was discontinued. And then it was put back on. So it's a supplier issue going on. And that's going to be my biggest problem with this truck is um, I got a couple features. I got onboard power. That's going to be, a I don't know, hit or miss on that. I got the dual pane panel sunroof. Maybe an issue with that. Um, getting that truck built with those features. So I don't, I'm again, I'm hoping to have it by October, November. But some of those features may cause it to be delayed a little bit, depending on when suppliers get the parts in and able to build those at the factory. Fingers crossed. Why buy year end? Okay. So these trucks I buy, I use them for tax purposes. When I don't buy a truck, it costs me tens of thousands of dollars, period. When I buy a truck, I make tens of thousands of dollars because I'm not paying a lot of taxes on that truck. I know there's tax advisors out there going to start ripping me up in the comments. It works in my business, in my situation. It does not work for everybody. But in my situation, it makes a lot of sense. And I make a lot of videos off these things. So that's why uh, videos of the trucks, that's where I make the revenue to pay for the payment for the truck. So that's how the business works. And that's why I ordered these trucks. And so that's why I have that by year end. It's got to be in my driveway by December 31st of 2024. So that has meant in years past, I've flown the day after Christmas. I've been driving back in, uh, the week after Christmas with trucks from Houston, from trucks from Michigan. Um, that's why I have to go get these because I need to get them in my driveway to claim them on taxes. And then because the tax code has changed, 179 tax code has changed, I can depreciate as much as I want first year. I don't know the way the scheduling used to be on multiple years. So that's what happens. And I've done videos on this in the past, but you know, if I don't, it seems like a, I did a video where I, how much I lost my Chevy Silverado, which was tens of thousands of dollars, and people thought I was going bankrupt. Well, they, they forgot the taxes piece. The taxes piece is huge. It's a big deal. That's why every YouTuber buys trucks. That's why we buy these things or cars or whatever you get them buy. So that's details on that. I want to give you the update. So what did we find out? Uh, order was placed, order and glitch. <clears throat> yeah, right. Uh, onboard power system is in, in there. Hoping by, by year end. And that Mark Dodge guys, they want to be the Amazon of dealerships. They want to just, hey, here's what we got. Here's what the price is. Here's how you pick it up. Here's our process. I signed the documents this morning. Buyer's agreement. It's simple. The only thing I don't like that they do and every other Ram dealership does is they require $1,000 down for deposit for an order. What I don't like about that is the free loan to the manufacturer, right? And what pisses me off is that Ram is the only brand that does that. Chevy doesn't do it. Order Chevy, no problem. Order Ford, no problem. And as far as I know, Ram is the only brand that has a $1,000 de $1, deposit. And I'm like, why wouldn't you want pre-sold orders? You can put those down as sales already. You can boost your numbers up. You can get more stock price, more investors. And be like, oh, here's Ram's doing well. They're selling trucks. Why would you make consumers put $1,000 down? And... When I talk to the Ram uh, brand CEO, Tim Kaniskas, at some point, that's going to be my big question for him. Why do you force customers to do that? Why are the only ones doing that? So I'm going to keep making a deal about that because it just, it irritates me. It gets under my skin. I'm going to buy a truck. I don't need to put $1,000 down. Just build it. I'll buy it. Simple. Capish, Capish. All right. For more trick videos over here. Damn it. Wrong way. <laughs> Website down below, uh, pickuptrucktalk.com. Also, a lot of details in the forum. .pickuptrucktalk, pickuptrucktalk.com. Man. I should have named that website easier for me to say. Whatever. Hindsight. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you down the road.